It's that time again, as many of you have probably noticed, and I know several of you have asked about, for us to announce where the President will be donating his quarterly salary. Last quarter, the President's salary went toward the restoration of two projects at, at a national battlefield. After his donation, additional donors quickly stepped up to bring the total gift to over $260,000. And this quarter, the President will be donating his salary to the Department of Education. And with that, I would like to bring up Secretary DeVos to tell you about what the Department will be doing with the President's money to help equip the boys and girls who will be the leaders of tomorrow. Secretary DeVos, it's my pleasure on behalf of the President of the United States to present a check for $100,000 to the Department of Education. Thank you very much, Madam Secretary. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. I want to start by saying how grateful I am to the President for this generous gift. The President is committed to our nation's ch students and to reforming education in America so that every child, no matter their zip code, has access to a high quality education. He and I have had many conversations about how best to put students' needs first and ensure and we are setting them up for a lifetime of success. There's much work to be done, but we are certainly on the right track thanks to the President's leadership. Just yesterday, Ivanka Trump and I hosted a summer reading event at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History, where the focus was on getting young girls, aged 6 to 10, excited about learning science, technology, engineering, and math. It was fun to see their eyes light up as they got to explore, create, and experiment in a collaborative environment. Today's and tomorrow's economy requires students prepared for STEM careers. That's why we've decided to use the President's second quarter salary to host a, a STEM-focused camp for students at the Department of Education. We want to encourage as many children as possible to explore STEM fields in the hope that many develop a passion for these fields. We look forward to this exciting endeavor, and I thank President Trump again for this generous gift. Thanks.